This video focuses on configuring Chopper for use with the block structure. We've already installed Chopper, Chopper Generator, Build Runner. Chopper is used to organize HTTP calls. It's built on top of the HTTP package that is from Google. It provides more organization than the HTTP package or deal. It's similar to Retrofit on Android or Alamo Fire on iOS. Right click on your lib folder and create a services folder in the lib folder. In the service folder, let's create our first HTTP service with a chopper service. Let's call the new file theta underscore service dot dart. In the new file theta underscore service dot dart, we're going to need to import the chopper package. Chopper must be in your pubspec.yaml file as well as chopper generator and build runner. Refer to the previous video in this tutorial series or the chopper page on pub.dev for help on installing the chopper packages if you are stuck. Since we're using code generation, you're gonna see some errors in the syntax checker. For example, the theta underscore service dot chopper dot dart does not exist right now. We'll have to generate it with build runner after we populate this file with some information. The chopper package does use annotation, so the at sign is from the and the chopper API is from the chopper package. So let's create the first uh, chopper. Um, in my example, the URLs for the API endpoints all have slash OSC on it. So this is specific to my uh, API that I'm using, which is the Rico Theta camera API. So that slash OSC, that would is uh, after the domain. The API command I'm first giving is a get command. So it's at get, and the path after OSC is info. The HTTP and the domain will be specified in a separate part of the app. So this is everything after the domain is what we're setting up right now. We'll also create a theta service dot create that will run at the time that we instantiate the chopper service. Uh, this will return a uh, theta service, which does not exist right now because it will be generated by the code generator that we'll do in the next step. You can run the build runner from the terminal with flutter pub run build underscore runner build. And this will start the process of building the code that will actually connect to the API endpoint. In this case, it's the camera. All the errors should be away now. In our simplified tutorial, the data is largely the camera itself. We're sending a request to the camera and getting a response from the camera, which is an HTTP server. The qubit then talks to the UI by changing the state of the entire application and then providing functions available to the UI that can trigger something like a button press then send the request to the data portion, which in this case is the camera. In this simplified example, since we're using Chopper to handle the request and response from the data, we're gonna instantiate Chopper within the theta qubit. So within the theta qubit, uh, set up a instance variable Chopper, and that will then instantiate the a Chopper client uh, that we just set up. And we'll then connect that Chopper client to the, uh, the data that we just created. The Chopper client has a base URL, which is used as the base URL for all the API calls. And then there's a specific service, which is the name of the uh, that Chopper service that we just created. Uh, and then it runs this theta service dot create method. And we're also going to add a converter here. So to make it the data go between the Dart maps and the JSON, which the camera is expecting a JSON request, and the response is also in JSON. So to make it easier to go back and forth between Dart and JSON, we're using this converter for all the calls, which is very nice. 
Otherwise, you have to do some type of serialization with JSON encode and JSON decode. Uh, this does make it quite a bit nicer to work with the API endpoints um, and is a, quite a nice feature of Chopper. So this method uh, for get info, which is in the qubit, that is what we're going to supply to the button on the UI. So we'll set, a, set up a, a Chopper service. We'll call it Theta service. And then from there, we can access the individual method to get the uh, method that we defined in the Chopper file that is then going to connect to the camera and get our response back. Now within the qubit, we no longer have to simulate the network uh, response and delay since we actually have a real network response right now. We're getting it from a camera, uh, but it's the same as getting it from an API endpoint in the cloud. So we can access the theta info. And then now the uh, when we emit the, the change to theta loaded, we actually now have the real response back from the camera. Uh, the previous video showed that we hooked up this get info method. It's just sitting right there in the button. So on the, in the on pressed callback, it, it then executes get info. And then, so that's how it gets into the, um, the actual UI. So it's going to emit a change of state and then pass the string over to the state, uh, the, the theta state that's part of the qubit and then that will then change the UI. Congratulations on getting Chopper to work with your RicoThet application. We'll be adding more features onto this application in the future, including getting the images and the image display working on your mobile application. Subscribe to the channel for updates. If you like this type of video that shows the infrastructure, give this video a like, and we'll use that feedback to create more videos in the future. If you have any questions about mobile app development with Flutter or a question about Rico Theta application development, feel free to post a question in our forum.